to see characteristics like biblical fellowship, like selfless care for each other, the way that plays out in men and women who are serving every week, families with special needs through access ministry, to see biblical discipleship playing out in men and women, even teenagers, pouring the gospel and teaching God's word to kids in Kids Quest, see lives changed by the power of the gospel, to, to see 200 of our brothers and sisters serving in Ethiopia for the spread of the gospel there in the middle of this last summer, just to see all these traits of a biblical church. We want to grow in more and more and more and more and see people coming to faith in Christ and baptized from all kinds of different backgrounds. It's just good to be a part of the church. As we think about the traits that God has designed for the church, one of those traits that's in many ways like an engine fueling other traits is biblical giving. Those things are possible because of ongoing, faithful, generous, sacrificial giving in the church. That God provides through members all across this church, which is why here at the end of the year, we're just encouraging, even challenging one another to press in on that trait in particular. We want to live a life that takes what we have and says, God, you can use it in any way you want to use it. And that's what I want to ask you during this month. We're doing this one in December campaign where we're asking God to take what we have and to use it for his purposes here in the D.C. area and all around the world. How might God be leading you to give a day or a week or a month, maybe even a year for some people of salary over and above your regular giving toward the mission of the church, coming more and more the church God's designed us to be and making the gospel known through other churches around Metro Washington, D.C. and around the world. Every campus, every discipleship group, every Bible study, every community group, every family, every individual, every member in our church, Ashley and I, my wife and I, we're thinking and praying about how God might be able to use what we have. And I want to ask you, take the little that you might have, or maybe you have a lot, and ask God to use it for His purposes. How does God want to use what you have? Live, to give, to spend our lives and all that He's entrusted to us for His purposes in the world. To do much more than you could ever imagine He could do. Join us for one in December. What a joy that we get to be a part of this.